Hello, good afternoon. This is Charlie Tango 7, Alpha Hotel Quebec. And today I would like to show you some, uh, some features, some functionalities that uh, ICOM 2820 has and that the most part of the people not even dreams that it is capable of do um, like crossband repeat and uh, remote control operation. Okay, well, I will start to show you the remote, the remote control functionality, uh, which is uh, very simple to enable. Uh, first of all, of course, the, the diode matrix must have the configuration that uh, allows the crossband repeat to be enabled, which is the case of this uh, radio, which is the European version of the 2820. And uh, well, to enable the crossband repeat, it's quite simple, but you must be sure that you have the VHF frequency on the VFOA and the UHF frequency on VFOB. Uh, and then you select the frequency, a VH frequency on left side, UHF frequency on the right side, and then you have to press these two buttons at the same time and then the fu function button. I will try to do it uh, right now live. And there it is. Now it is in crossband repeat. You can see it quite well. Here on the side you have a key blinking. That means that the radio is in crossband repeat. I will show how it works. Uh, I, I have here a handheld radio. As you can see it's, in, it's on the same VHF frequency as the VFOA. And when I transmit on VFOA it will uh, also transmit on UHF like this. You see, uh, when it receives the signal on VFOA, it also transmits on VFOB. Uh, quite basic, quite simple. Uh, if you turn off the radio and you turn it on again, it remains with the crossband repeat functionality activated. And uh, for, for deactivated, it's the same procedure. You have to press these two buttons and the function button at the same time and there it is no more crossband repeat I must say that this function the crossband repeating works quite well in FM mode and also in D star mode I will not explain the details how to use the crossband repeat in D star mode uh, but there are some articles on the internet that you can consult to see how to operate on DV mode. Uh, I will just tell you that you keep also the FM on both VFOs to transmit the D-star because what the 2820 is going to do it's simple to uh, retransmit the D-star codification that it receives. It will not decode and re-encode it. It, so it will only retransmit it. Okay. Well now I just would like to show you some uh, features from the remote control operations. What is remote control operation? Well, uh, is uh, to have a handheld like this one and be able to perform actions on the 2820 remotely. How? We're using the TMF code. Um, it will be possible with a handheld with a, or with other mobile or base station to control the 2820 and by control I mean to change frequency, to activate crossband, to deactivate crossband, to increase power, to decrease power, to go to a memory channel and so on and so on. And well, I will, I will try to show you how to do that. Uh, it will be a little bit difficult, but the first step is to press this key which says DTMS. You have to press it for some seconds. You have to select the remote control, press, and remote control on. Okay, now it's on. You see here a remote symbol. When it, when this R from remote it's on, it means that the remote control option it's 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 on. And I will try to show you how, for instance, enable crossband repeat and repeat by DTMF. It's like this. You see, now it's on.
but you can do much more things. You can, for instance, go to a repeater, like this one. Or you can go to a, a direct frequency. Let me show. Like this one. Or you can increase the power. You see here the power is in low. The power is in low. I will show you. Okay, now you have low and high power. Uh, of course, I can also decrease the power. And it's in low. You see, it's very quite simple. Uh, and you can do really a lot of things with this uh, crossband repeat operation and um, with this remote control functionality. You can disable the remote control. You see, it's blink blinking here. And you can simply do this. OK, and it's off. It's very, very easy. I Sorry, I think that you did not notice it, the D, D, DTMEF tones, but I will increase the volume. OK, it's like this. And uh, well, it's, it's very, as I told you, it's very easy to operate it. I can go, I can use this frequency to control it, but I can also use this one. I'm trying to show you. Right now, I'm, I will use the other frequency. Let me see. 4330. Okay, and now I'm trying to uh, go to a different memory channel on the left side. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, uh, <laughs> I will. I will try to include some more notes on the description. I hope that this is useful for you, and uh, there are some articles that you can read. Okay, have fun with uh, with the 2820, and uh, have a good uh, good day, good DX. And 73, Charlie Tango 7 Alpha Hotel, Quebec. Bye-bye.